Listen, but speaking of popping up, G Herbo popped up uh, at his ex girlfriend Ari Fletcher's party while Taina Williams, Taina Williams, Taina, Taina, I don't know, that's his mother of his new child, stayed at home with their son. Now, Ari Fletcher is the ex, is the baby mother Mm -hmm. of G Herbo's child. Okay, Mm -hmm. she hosted a party over the weekend with her boyfriend, Moneybag. Yo, okay, I don't know these people, y'all. I don't know. Okay, well, Ari's ex-boyfriend, G Herbo, who just welcomed a baby boy with fiance Tana Williams, was present uh, in Atlanta for the birthday bash without his partner. Now, what makes it an interesting occurrence is that in 2019, Ari accused Herbo of viciously beating her and also spread some pretty nasty rumors about his health status, among other happenings. Now, look, I don't know all the tea, but what I do know is that while Herbo was out living it up, his baby mama, who just delivered their child, was at home with their infant son. And so now what's happened is social media is so messy. You guys have discovered that they have unfollowed each other on social media, which has led to a whole bunch of drama, including Ari liking certain posts on Twitter, which has only made it more worse. <sighs> Can you, this is my question. <laughs> Can you and should you still be friends with your ex after a bad breakup? And should your partner who is confident in your relationship have a problem with that? I think you should uh-huh. because they, they share a child. And it was recently where I think Taina and Ari were together and they were, you know, showing some love. And at the end of the day, he has children with both of them. They have to find how, you know, how to be cordial in some way. And, you know, it's not a surprise that this man just dropped the album and now all this is going on where people are getting unfollowed and it's all this happening. So I think everybody's on the right page, but I absolutely think you should have some kind of camaraderie with the mother of your child, regardless. I think she actually, Taina um, posted something saying, yeah, I unfollowed him, but we're all good here. Sometimes you have to unfollow people that you know in real life because they're doing too much online. That mm-hmm. mute button is, is a girl's best friend when it comes to your sanity. So just because not I don't your, see- Not your baby daddy who you live with. Oh, I've, I've dated several people that I was like, oh, I can't follow him online. His online persona gets on my nerves. So for me, I actually don't see a problem with sometimes needing some social media distance because your persona online is often very different from who you are in real life, right? Mm -hmm. Also, too, you know, not to quote Taina's uh, stepfather, Fabulous, but I think he once famously said, hating hoes ain't happy and happy hoes ain't hating. Like, why are people spending so much time worried about if she is following the father of her child, if they're still doing life together and the things that matter are still happening? Her and Ari have no Because... It's this company, ex- excuse me, this company exists because people want to know why. Celebrities are celebrities because they have fans who want to be all up in a business. This man went to his baby mama's party and his other baby mama was at home with their mm-hmm. new baby, somehow yeah. felt some type of way. Why was she not there with him? Why weren't they together? Why didn't they roll up together? Why weren't they all pictured as a family? Oh, no, no, I'm not done yet, okay? Because this is, you (laughs) said, why do people want to know? I'm telling you why people want to know. And then why did you go home after having this amazing night with your baby moms? And then all of a sudden, we have to unfollow each other. People want to know these things, G Herbo. Did you take a stop off and do something you weren't supposed to do? Were there strippers at the party that maybe you fooled around with? What happened? Was there a Big Mac involved, Chick-fil-A sauce? I don't know what happened between leaving the house with Taina and getting home and getting unfollowed. That's what the people want to know. Look, you turned this into an episode of Dateline, Jason. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 well, we know he didn't. He, nothing happened with him and Ari because Money Bag Yo was definitely there, dropped off a very expensive car to Ari. Mm-hmm. Damn. But overall, like, look, G Herbal just dropped his album. He's supposed to be out at these events. Ari Fletcher, I don't really know who she is, but she's a big deal. So I would be there if I just dropped the album and you are the mother of my child. Oh, yeah, I need to show up. I need this press to push this uh, this album I just put out to feed the little baby I have that is at home. So I feel like that's why he went to the event. And when you're in album mode, like Blue was saying, a lot of people start doing crazy stuff on social media. He's probably at strip clubs and stuff. That stuff she don't want to see because she just had a baby. So most likely and she's I'm hormonal. it's that. Yep. I think she's hormonal and he probably went because it's a work obligation because it's a good look. It'll get us talking, Jason, to your point. So he knows he has to go because it'll it'll get us talking, but she probably got annoyed because she's like, I know it's your job, but I'm annoyed and I'm lactating and F you, I'm going to mute you. I I mean, listen, she just had the baby. He didn't perform his album at the party. There were no press there at the party for him to report his album. He didn't get no more increased album sales at the party. He went there. 
He went there because every man wants to make sure his ex ain't doing better without him. He probably went there to go make sure that she fell off, saw that she got this big ass car, felt some type of way, came home and took it out on Taina. Taina wasn't having it. The baby was crying. She had no nanny. She unfollowed him, cussed him out. He slept in his car. Jason, how do we that escalated quickly? <laughs> I'm just saying it's the it's it's the possibilities for me. It's the possibility. It's true. I gave my theory. That's Jason's theory. I, I'm with it. I'm with it. Because because when a woman has a baby, the last thing she wants is her man to be out at his other baby mama birthday party. Okay, but Jason and Damage, as two men from different ends of the spectrum, would you go to a party if you invited by your ex? Yeah. Oh well, well that's different. And let me tell you why it's different. One. My ex ain't no hot boy, okay? The second thing is, if my ex was to have a party, I'd be taking my new nigga with me. Oh, good answer. How That's about you, true. Damage? That's true. I'm feeling Jason on that, but being that is the mother of his child, and they just recently seemed like they squashed all the beef, I think it was good taste that he showed up to represent the family because they just recently like squashed all this stuff. So I think he was just showing up in good faith, to be honest. Taina should have been there with him. I don't think he should have went by himself. I think I think you play a very okay. dangerous thing when you go to your ex's parties or homes without your current partner. Like I have exes who I have great friendships with. They come to my homes. But if I'm dating somebody, they're going to have a relationship and I'm going to always make sure that we all hang out together because it's just the perception of it all. And they not to mention like these are people who are talked about in the blogs in in in, in uh, you know in the news and so like once it gets posted on our platforms then the comments start driving issues because the comments start living a life of its own i'm praying that everybody finds peace um and i'm fine that i i'm also praying that um uh ari learns how to walk in those hills because she almost fell outside <laughs> her party girl it's it's too much be honest you know uh t i'm gonna call it t because i can mess up her name she just had a baby now, I've been there where it's like, yo, let's go out. You know, let's have a good time. You just was carrying the baby for nine months. And she's like, this ain't the body I'm used to. I need to get back to being me. I ain't going nowhere. You go. So stay home with her. Stay home with her. He got an album Are you serious? No, nah, I'm sorry. You keep using this album, boy. He, he did not get him. another album sale. His, his, his album, album will be okay without him going to his ex's party. We talking party. about I just it had... right now. If I just had look, your baby, stay home with me then. Like, that's look at, look right at, now. look at, look at damage giving every rapper out there their excuse. Just say you had an album. Just got yeah, an album. Out. And look, no. we're talking about it. Now his album got promotion. It's if out. we have a baby, you have to stay home with me. You can't be going out partying with your friends because you want to, you can still sell your album without going to your ex's party. And also too, he can pay for it without that party. That money got money. Okay. And also to think about G it, to me, my definition. Has how much money? I don't, I'm not his accountant. My definition of uh, my definition of cheating is doing anything behind your partner's back that you wouldn't do in front of their face. And to Jason's point, when you go into spaces like that, even if you have the best of intentions, other women love to feel like they have something on you. And I could see my, somebody going to their ex's party with the good intentions, but the ex is being petty and saying slick things that she wouldn't say if I was around. That is a toxic environment that I, I don't feel like you should be in to begin with. Personally. Not to mention, not to mention, this was like a stripper theme party or something like that. Like it's a stripper I don't themed know. party. I just, yeah, I mean, if it. she, if she did have issues with her body, and not saying that she did, because she's a very pretty girl. Not to mm -hmm. saying that pretty girls don't have issues, you know, issues after pregnancy. But you know, like say she did have issues with her body or insecurity. The last thing you want is to know your man is around exactly. these women with their clappers out dancing around in these high heels twerking and jerking like i don't know yeah. i it, it, stay at home with your baby promote your album on your social media the i don't know out.